There's one area, though, where the world isn't making much progress. And the, the story is actually quite a negative one if, if we don't get serious about it, and that's pandemic preparedness. It should con concern us all because history has taught us there will be another deadly global pandemic. We can't predict when, but given the continual emergence of new pathogens, the increasing risk of a bioterror attack, and how connected our world is through air travel, there is a significant probability of a large and lethal modern-day pandemic occurring in our lifetimes. In the real world, the health infrastructure we have for normal times breaks down very rapidly during major infectious disease outbreaks. It's especially true in poor countries. But even in the U.S., our response to a pandemic or widespread bioterror attack would be grossly insufficient. Several things in the last decade have made me pay close attention to the risk of future pandemics. One was the outbreak of swine flu in 2009. While H1M1 wasn't as lethal as people initially feared, it showed our inability to track the spread of disease and develop new tools for public health emergencies. The Ebola epidemic in West Africa four years ago was another wake-up call. As confirmed cases climbed, the death toll mounted and local health systems collapsed. Again, the world was much too slow to respond and didn't have answers for questions that were known that we'd have to face, including how to draw in uh, private sector technologies. Now, we do have some new tools uh, that we didn't have a century ago. We have a seasonal flu vaccine, although it's not uh, often fully effective. Uh, you have to get it every year, and the percentage of people who choose to get it is fairly small. We also have antibiotics that would help with the secondary infections uh, from bacterial pneumonia. But despite those advances, uh, this animated simulation, uh, which was done uh, by the Institute for Disease Modeling, shows what would happen if a highly contagious and lethal airborne pathogen, like the 1918 flu, were to occur today. So what you see is nearly 33 million people worldwide would die in just six months.